Keg bag time. Yes. At Carl Kramer writes in, Oculus VR is getting exclusive Assassin's Creed and Splinter Cell games, and the Zuck is personally involved in getting games onto care. these systems. The Zuck care. The Zuck seems to be really big in VR because he was personally great. involved in You know what? In there have been some bad company. Assassin's Creed games and some bad Splinter Cell games. So I don't Well, these are these are gonna be Yes, I'm just saying games. it doesn't mean they're gonna be good. Oh, I don't think it means that at all. Yeah. I'm just it means saying they're gonna be games. Yeah, That's it just means all. there's gonna be games. It doesn't mean they're good games. They're not they're out little, yet, so we don't know. So be I in still virtual reality. I still do not care. Yeah, why why did I put this in the keg bag? There's no question even. I don't know. Way to drop the, the ball. Wrong with me? What the hell's wrong with me? I don't know. Go on to the next one. This one's a real question. It's an important. At K Saunders okay. writes in and says, if supplied with either a big bucket of pretzel rods or licorice, which do you choose? It's a good question. That's like uh, they sell both in staples. Right. Yes. So and they're the same size. Yeah. Like the, the giant the giant bucket. Pretzel now, rods is the correct answer. I was going to say, I'm probably going to go with pretzel rods because you could eat more pretzel rods. And mm, they're delicious. Can I? I yes. think so. I think I if, you eat too, if you eat too many Twizzlers, they get stuck in your teeth. Yes, I like you one, they get stuck in your teeth. I like a good Twizzler. It's not a knock on the Twizzler as a candy. I'm pro Twizzler. But I think if I was in my office, I'd rather have the pretzels. Are we so can they be pull and peel? The fuck Twizzlers? is that? No, it says, individually it says wrapped? licorice. It says licorice. What, pull and peel are licorice. No, they're not. They're 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 Twizzler candy. Different. It's different, <laughs> not the same. That is not licorice. You shouldn't know this much about candy at this age. I feel. Oh no, I definitely do. You shouldn't. <laughs> I, I definitely do. Yeah, why I not? Know you do. Why not? Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> I, I would go licorice. No, no uh, unless it's black, and I, and I don't hate black <laughs> licorice. I'm just not gonna eat a big bucket of it. I, I like black. The older I get, the more I like black licorice. Mm, give me some good and plenties. Yeah, those are oh. the best. Yep. But anyway, not, I'm going. Not. I'm with Cheapy on this one. I actually would yeah. go pretzel sticks because I could sit and like and snack on pretzel snacks. Right. Pretzel Your snakes? mouth just gets so snakes. dry, though. Uh, you don't have to eat the whole fucking bucket in one sitting. Yes, you do. You one it doesn't. Rod. It doesn't say that. It says if supplied with <laughs> one sitting. No. Yeah, it, it just says if supplied with I either a, a bucket. So you don't I would just be more time. satisfied with the pretzel sticks. Yes, because they're delicious. Well, and, you know, they're fine. Salty goodness. <laughs> no now, if you, said, if you said you're going to, I have the choice between a small package of pretzel rods and a small package of licorice, I would probably go for the licorice. Yeah, does that make sense? That does make sense. I, I, don't, I don't think you're wrong on this on that either. Finally, we agree on something. It took an hour and eight minutes. Yeah. Well, time to go, everybody. Could it be? A, could it be- be a bucket of rope licorice. What, what, what kind of rope licorice? Like not like a Twizzler, but like the the solid rope, like that weird round. Yeah, like the Australian licorice. I, I you know do, too much about licorice. I do like a good Australian licorice. <laughs> That's not different right. though. That's not like a rope. That's like its own thing. Yeah, but they they, they can get it in just like. Long you know what extrusions. I like the best? The licorice pipes. You ever see those? Okay. Those are good. Yeah. <laughs> of course he does. He knows everything about candy. I, I'm home. down for any kind of licorice except the kind that they try to squeeze stuff in the middle of. Oh, yeah. That's gross. That yeah, don't do happen. that. <laughs> no. And any color that isn't red or black. Mm, see, I, the green kind is all right. The the watermelon pool and peels. Oh, you're... No, go away. Your shipwreck is canceled. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. You you got how old are you? Forty. Yeah, I'm forty. Yeah, you got, got like, a lot a lot of years ahead of me. Of he he exercises and is in good shape and, and yeah, he can but eat it, all it's, the candy he wants. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. As you get older, you can't really. It, that just goes that that ability goes away. For the most, I mean, not everybody's different, of course. I surprisingly eat very little candy. I eat a lot of gross food. You, but you I ate don't a lot eat of corned beef candy. hash this morning. I mean, exactly. I'll eat corned beef hash like it's going out. Can I get a bucket of corned beef hash? How about that? That The restaurant that we went to, Thomas's, is known for their skillets. Mm-hmm. Um, Shipwreck's been there. Yep. I have. I've been and, there with uh, them. 
I've never seen the bottom of a skillet before today. But Thanks. Wombat showed me the bottom of the skillet. It was the only thing I ate today, if that makes you feel anything. Really? Yeah. That's not true at all. Yes, it is That's true. the only thing you ate today. Yeah. There's I, no other food eaten today. I had some water with the show. Not water, food. I know. My wife ate her leftover Chinese food for dinner from like two days ago, so I just was Come fine. On. Yeah. But what did you eat? You didn't eat anything. No. Nothing. Nothing. Not like a banana. No, not a banana. Just food at 8.30 in the morning. Yes, but a lot of food at 8.30 in the morning. How does that work? You eat a lot of food at 8.30 in the morning, and then you're like, eh, I'm fine. Shipwreck. That doesn't sound right to me. That's no, wait, I do. I take it kid. back. I take it back. Because we actually talked about this. I had this a Big morning. Mac at noon. No, when I was taking, <laughs> when I was, my daughter, I made her pasta and she didn't finish it. So I had about four ziti noodles. So you're right. I had four ziti noodles for dinner and I don't want to. Okay. Then what else though? That's it. There's probably another four something. Four no. hot dogs? No, no. I made Elliot a cheeseburger and he ate the whole thing. And then he wanted fish sticks okay. after that for dessert. So I made him fish sticks for dessert. And no no snack anywhere? No, I was fine. I was busy But that's not too. enough calories for in a day for a person. It's plenty of calories in a day for a person. I'm very confused, Shipwreck. That seems like enough calories, that one yeah. skillet. It does, that one. I mean, that's not 2,000 calories. No, it's probably less than that, but that's fine. Well, that doesn't need 2,000 calories. Yeah, I'm oh. fine. How many does he need? Probably like six. To be honest, six, these days. Six thousand? <laughs> just six. six. Just six <laughs> calories a day. But, um, oh, boy. Mm-hmm. All right. I believe you. I believe you. I mean, it's not like I'm going to do that tomorrow, but. That sounds hard, though. I couldn't do that ever. No, I don't do it often, but I also usually don't eat a breakfast like that. Right. All right. Enough giving Wombat a hard time. Yeah. I mean, usually habits. I don't eat breakfast. That's sort of where it gets kind of weird. It's a lot of weirdness. We're learning a lot of weird things. It's the most important meal of the day. It's not the only meal of the day. Today was the only meal. (laughs) Weird. Mm. All right. You know what's not weird? Long Island Retro. That's right. August 10th and 11th. It's coming up. You can watch us live on August 11th at 1230 in the theater. Buy your tickets now at liretro.com. And you, you can hang out on Saturday night, too, at the Retro and Chill event. I know one of the guys who wrote in with a question is coming. Uh, which one was it? Oh, uh, Kenny Saunders said he's driving from Ohio. He was the guy who asked last last time uh, what he should do on Long Island if he comes from uh, from Ohio. And Wombat said Jones Beach. Then I made fun of Wombat, and then I went to Jones Beach like two days later. And? It was cool. Uh-huh. We went at night, though. So, still nice. I, it's too hot during the day. <laughs> it's the oh, beach. Who, are, it's who the are these people who want to be outside in the sun? <sighs> they have, do you know they have ping pong tables? I did not. I don't go they to They have a beach. lot. They have a lot of um, concrete ping pong tables. But it's so windy there, I can't imagine you could ever, ever play a game. It's just right on the fucking ocean. <laughs> it's like there's wind. Anyway, so yeah, come to Long Island Retro. It's going to be a lot of fun. 